After months of increases in hospitalizations, we get some new data from UT Southwestern that is showing that Dallas County may begin catching a break here, but the same can't be said for Tarrant County. And experts say the reason is clear. Our Nicole Nielsen gets us underway, all new at six. Wear a mask. It's a phrase we've almost become numb to, but according to new data from UT Southwestern, they're stopping the surge, at least for the counties that wear them. Wearing a mask is one of the best tools in the toolbox. The report released Monday predicts Dallas County hospitalizations will peak, then trend down over the next few weeks, attributing the success to masking up 80 percent. While in Tarrant County, less mitigation efforts contribute to an expected rise in hospitalizations. It's something Steve Love, president of the DFW Hospital Council, says Tarrant County hospitals don't need right now. They're pretty overwhelmed. I got to tell you, you can look at the occupancy and we're running about 92, 93 percent occupancy. Our pediatrics are running a little higher, but the real issue is not beds, it's staff. He says more concerning, the data shows infection rates are climbing in children while other age groups plateau. And with pediatric hospital admissions already more than double January volumes. And the reason that we are concerned kids can get very sick from it. Though the report does have a caveat, the trajectory of case numbers and subsequent hospitalizations depends solely on our behaviors. Locally, there's been a decline in vaccination levels and that can put the data at risk. If our vaccination rates decline and people don't wear a mask, this Delta variant is gonna continue to grow. In Dallas, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News.